do not require the same amount of yes. food like the other one there. Yeah, we give sure. it a balanced diet. Yes, yes. But if you find this one is not getting enough, mm -hmm. depending on the production of it. Yeah. We treat each and every plant as an individual. Okay. With its unique characteristics. Mm -hmm. that Now, from the, the day we show the, the first flower shows yes. to the day we pick and pack the fruit. Yes. How long that does it take? That billionaires Club. Ipo farming is a billionaires club. Few farmers that are doing it are unable to certify Kenyan market, East African market. We have gone to an extent of importing these apples from South Africa, from Egypt, and other countries because the demand is higher than what we, are, what we have in the country. And now, uh, this gives farmers that are intending to do an orchard, farmers that are planning to do a crop that does not need a lot of attention, that does not need a lot of uh, monitoring, though with a good capital preparation a chance to grow and to make money remember farming is all about making money have you been thinking about this have you been thinking of a crop that you can grow in in your piece of land and make money at the same time you are doing your other job without much monitoring what you're doing without much being in the farm with just your farm workers and maybe an agronomist who is taking care of your farm. Have you been thinking about it? Today, I've joined one of the best farmer who has a big truck of apples, doing apples and making money out of it. This is a secret. They don't like sharing with the other farmers, you know, here in Kenya, good things are always meant for a small group. And But today, I'm giving you the secret. Buy the secret. Use the secret. Benefit from the secret. Mkulima Lincoln. Yes, Fred. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking words to, uh, to, to introduce you. Because you are, you are not just a, a normal farmer. And you are not, a, you are not a abnormal farmer. Yeah, but I like everything that I'm seeing in your farm. You know, uh, a friend of mine told me that there is a secret society, secret club of uh, hippo farming and uh, i can confidently confirm that lincoln is in the secret club secret <laughs> society secret billionaires yeah. club so uh how did you start how do why why did you think of uh hippo farming you know hippo farming when you look at it huh? yes it's not a venture which is being done by everybody sure so when we are looking at an investment you try to look for something you have a niche market uh -huh. that is what you consider yes. something you can sell comfortably uh -huh. how many people are growing apples in kenya most Very of few. the apples we are getting are being imported yes from south africa from egypt, egypt israel from israel yes israel is among the, the also a big importance of people Name in Kenya. them now. Yes. So, and this fruit can do well here in Kenya. Okay. So when you try to look at the market, you can be sure of the prices. Uh -huh. Very good prices. Yes. And uh, why not grow it? Sure. Yeah. And and talking of prices, talking of the market. Yes. Apple is among the fruit or is among the farm produce that has no season. Definitely. <laughs> you can look now, we are already done with the harvesting. Uh -huh, now uh -huh. this is a low season. Yes. But it's the tree is still fruiting. Yes, yes. Still flowering. Yes, yes. Still yes. progressing on well. Uh -huh. So anytime, business time. Any day is business day. Definitely. 
you are you're already in business. If, if, if there is one business that I've come to admire and really soon I'm getting into it and that's why I'm here so that I can learn how to do it is it for family business. Welcome to the club. <laughs> and billionaires <laughs> club. <laughs> billionaires club. Yes. Fred is already inducted in the billionaires club. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. So to start with, yes. if today I decide to be an Ipo farmer, yes. what do I need? First of all, you have to get you right, the seedlings. The right seed. Yes. yes. Here we are dealing with grafted apples. Grafted apples. Yes. Uh -huh. We usually get there is a rootstock. Uh -huh. This is a combination of two trees. Yes. One is the rootstock uh -huh. and the, the scion. Uh -huh. for, so for the rootstock, uh -huh. we look for a variety that is able to withstand the soil borne diseases with a good root network. Uh -huh. It's well established. Yes, yes. And then for the upper part, that's yes. where you put the scion. Yes. This is now where you look at what does the market demand. Mm -hmm. It wants mm -hmm. big fruits. Yes. Nice color. Mm -hmm. Excellent taste. Mm -hmm. You get now the scions from those trees, mm -hmm. mature trees. Okay. Definitely. You don't go for young trees. Mm -hmm. Because for a, a tree which is more than five, 10 years yes that's where you get the science yes once you have you are armed with your sibling yeah now you are ready you are ready to go yes and uh, as a starter yes. how do i identify that the zion that um, i'm going to buy is the right one and the rootstock that is connected with is the right one how do i identify that for that one, you might not be as a layman you might not be able to get it exactly mm -hmm. but that is why we are here we that, guide you in choosing that. Huh? Okay. Because for nine, for the rootstock, mm -hmm. we use something we call the M9. Uh -huh. M9 rootstock. Yes. This is one of the, it is grows very vigorously. Uh -huh. And it is able to withstand the soil borne diseases. And it gives the tree a very good foundation. Okay. So for that one, it will be able to identify. We'll guide you on that. Okay. Yes. So, so you are telling me, uh, other than being a farmer, you are also working with other farmers to guide them on getting the best seed drinks or the best varieties to go in their farm. You know, my mantra is you don't, a candle does not get dimmer uh -huh. by lighting another one. So we want to light this Kenya. We want to get more farmers. Uh -huh. So when you come with your candle, I'm going to light your candle so that we make the room brighter. Okay. This is what we do in farming here. Yes. Because for now you find there is a lot of, there is a big market. Uh -huh. Like now people want to get, they want local apples. Because yes. when you taste one, uh -huh. then you are like, what have I been taking? So the, import, the local one is sweeter than the imported one? Definitely. Because this one you are getting it fresh from the tree. Okay. And the taste is... Is the best. Way above the rest. Wow, wow. Yes. I love that. I didn't know that. Yes. But but I think it's because I've been consuming a lot of imported ones. I've never consumed the local ones. So I can't tell the difference. But now when I go to the Vedas, I must be I must ask them, is it local or is it imported? No, the look from, from the look of it you'll be able to see this one is has something unique in it. Uh -huh. Yes. And um now talking of rocko variety, yeah. do you have a specific location that Hippo does well and other location that Hippo doesn't do well? Uh, one thing, one unique thing about apples, it mm -hmm. is doing across all regions. Mm -hmm. In the highlands yeah. you'll find it, in the tea zones you'll find it. Yes. When you go down coast, yes. you're still finding it uh -huh. and it's doing well. Yes. Because I have farmers whom I'm working with who are in different ecological zones. Okay. And they are able to do well as long as you can be able to feed it. Yes. And water it thoroughly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so the fact, um, it's just like, kind of, you know, when I came here, I thought uh, this, it's, it's, it's a bushy plant like other plants. But I also saw the drip, the, the, the button drip as irrigation. So water is also a necessity when you think of apple farming. Uh, for this one, we are doing agribusiness. This is agribusiness, sure. We are not just planting a tree. Yes. 
So when you are looking at it, you must control the factors that you can, which can make you fail as a farmer. Yes. One of them, mm -hmm. you need to have water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is very essential. Yes. For the fruit, that we told uh, 75% of that is water. Uh -huh. In your business, if you don't have the main line, yes. then you are not in business. Okay. We want to harvest the fruits throughout the year. Uh -huh, How uh -huh. will you do that without water? You'll be a seasonal farmer. Yes, sure. And when you're in business, mm -hmm. when you are employed, you get monthly payments. Y don't sure. You? Yes, I, I usually get. So now when we are looking as a farmer, you should also be looking at it. This is my income. I want to earn it from January to December mm -hmm. because this is my employer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. one of the things which will make you not get paid by your employer mm -hmm. is refusing to give that your employer what he needs. The employer you have to 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 uh, to get the command or to to go as per the job description of yes. the employer. That is uh, why he is paying you. And the, the employer is going to pay you. Yes. <laughs> That's interesting. Then uh, now from region to region, yes. which is the island to the coastal region, yes. uh, does the taste or the size of the apple, is it affected by the region or they are just the same? A local variety is a local variety regardless of the region. No, because when you're looking at the, we look at what really the plant needs at the different stages. Yes. So when you work on it, the mm -hmm. feeding and the nutrition part of it is balanced. Yes. You will be able to get a fruit mm -hmm. which is having that crisp taste, mm -hmm. a taste which is unmatched with the rest. Yes. Because you are giving it a balanced diet. Okay. Nutrition of this plant is also very essential. Mm -hmm. It is not just a plant you plant and then you leave it. Okay. You take care of it, you give it what it wants, and it will definitely give back. Okay. Plants don't lie. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, uh, I think, so first thing first, we've gotten, we've chosen, we've seen all locations, fevers, apple farming. Yes. You've guided us to get uh, the best variety. Yes. Now, at planting. Yes. What, uh, because I also have water, yes. at planting, what does the young apple seedling require? When you're planting, there is a way we prepare the hole. Uh -huh. We do like two feet by two feet. The, 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 the hole the where you're planting, the yes. dimensions of the yes. hole, it's two feet by two, two feet. foot. Two foot by two foot. Yes, what about the depth? The depth is also two feet. Two feet. But you remove the topsoil and put it aside. How many, how many, one foot? One foot, you, you put, put it aside. aside, yes. Then there is that down part, which you call the subsoil. The subsoil. You remove it, and then you keep it on the other side. Okay. Then you get your manure, well-decomposed manure. Yes. This is what you mix with your topsoil. Mm -hmm. Once you mix the two, yes. you, be, you fill back the hole uh -huh. up to around three-quarter of that hole. Yes. Just leave a small space for, for the water. Mm -hmm. This is now, your hole is ready. Okay. When you bring your seedling, mm -hmm. we want you to have a vigorous rooting system. Mm -hmm. That is why we look for something which is a phosph has phosphorus in it. High phosphorus fertilizer. Yes. High phosphorus it. fertilizers. Mm -hmm. Depending on where you get it, yes, we need the phosphorus. This will aid in promoter, promotion of their root growth. Okay. Yes. Um, I want to take you back to, to the planting where after making the hole and subdividing the soil top and the, the, the sub. Yes. The manure. Yes. You, you told us that uh, you apply the manure. Yes. Which quantities of manure are we applying per hole? For this one, we recommend not for that bucket of 20, 20, 20 liters. 20 liters bucket. Yeah, at least that one. Mm -hmm. If you can manage one, the better. Good. At least per hole. Yes. That's the minimum. And you're going to mix it with the topsoil that mix you... Mix it with the top topsoil thoroughly mm -hmm. and then you fill it back into you the hole. You fill back into the hole. Yes. And set your irrigation and everything then commence you'll from set that. set your way. irrigation depending mm -hmm. on your method of irrigation. Yes. And then you come with the seedling. Yes. Plant it at the center. Yeah. Of that hole. Okay. Why we are doing this hole is to make sure that the the soil is loose along uh, around this plant yes. the seedling yes so that the roots don't have to strain mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. because they are young. Yes. So you want them to develop okay. easily. Yes. You give them a soft landing. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, now from uh, loot development, um, another another thing um, farmers would like to know all uh, those investors. Let's say it's invest. This is an investment, not even the normal no, farming. No, we are talking of investors here, man. <laughs> <laughs> what an investor now want to know yes. is the spacing from from one plant to the other yes. and the spacing from one line to the other. What 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 is the spacing? For for the ones like we have used here, mm-hmm. we've done. Two meters mm-hmm. by four meters. Two meters inter crop. Yes. Four meters inter line. Yes. Because uh-huh. this one, as you can see, it will establish in one line, but you can be able to work on this space. Yes. And be able to have access. The the plant is able to get enough light, enough sunlight. Okay. So that it does not form a canopy, or you don't have working space along this. Mm-hmm. At, uh, you can also do two meters by two meters, mm-hmm. and then depending on how your shamba is. Yes. This, in average, it will give you around for an acre around six hundred plants. Six hundred plants with, yes. with a spacing of uh, four meters by two meters. Yes, or well, two meters by two meters. Two meters. Neither of them two. are okay. Yes. Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. And um and uh, now um from from spacing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason why you are giving it uh, the, the the four meter space, yes. will it at some given point grow to a bushy tree, or you, you are going to trim it and it will remain the way it is as per now? We are giving it an allowance such that even if this place is able to grow and in, uh, get intertwined with this, yes. it will still be okay because mm-hmm. here we have the working space. Okay, yes. So this one we are giving it a lesser space. Mm-hmm. This one is okay. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. this is what will remain. Okay. And then it comes to around a meter on this side, a meter on this side, we still have a pathway mm-hmm. because we need to harvest these fruits. Yes. So we are giving this one the, where the workers will be working on. Okay. It's a working platform. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, that, that, that's good. A good spacing. Mm. And I know investors are taking notes about this. This, this, is, what it is. this, this is a boardroom meeting. <laughs> yeah, you know, investors meet in the boardroom. Eh? Oh, they are taking notes each and everything. Yeah. So now, I, we, we want to go now to, to, to the vegetative stage or yeah. uh, to the growth stage. Yes. Because we've already planted the young seedling. Yes. Uh, how long are we expecting to go to the market from now the day we plant the seedling? That's a good question. Yes. Because you must also think of because you are investing, and yeah, am I expecting it's a to reap, meeting. Yes. Uh, with a very good seedling, yeah. which is well established, mm-hmm. and when you are talking a well established, is yeah. the one which you find the scion mm-hmm. is already has already given shoots. Yes. And the grafted part mm-hmm. where you've done the grafting, it's mm-hmm. well healed. Yes. And uh, you even remove the grafting tape, mm-hmm. so it is ready. Mm-hmm to be taken to the ground. Mm-hmm. From there, we've applied the phosphorus on yes. the oil. We are now moving to the vegetative stage. The vegetative stage, yes. It's like with these stages, there's no way you can skip them. So we are also working on the vegetation. The okay. vegetation part is what will give you the shoots. Yes. You can see from these ones here, have like different shoots. Yes. A number of shoots. Yes. This is what you want because you want from down there, it's bushy. Mm-hmm. This will continue up to around nine months. From when planting, the vegetative stage is yes. managed for nine months. Yes, nine months up to a year. Up this to is where year. now you find now we've started flowering. Okay, now let before we get into flowering. Yes. Uh, what do we do now during this vegetative stage? During the vegetative stage, uh, yes. we look at the way. What does the plant require in bigger quantities? You'll find it requires a lot of nitrogen mm-hmm. because that is what will form the shoots. Yes. And you want it to be bushy. Yes. This is where you give it nitrogenous fertilizers. Okay. You create foliar and you also put on the basal application and foliar applications. Yes. And secondly, we also be scouting your orchard. Mm-hmm. To look out for diseases yes. and pests. Mm. 
will, those will also hinder your growth. Mm -hmm. If you are not checked, mm -hmm. they will make your plant to stagnate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, during this period of um, nine to nine months to one year, yeah. uh, I understand in my capacity that there will be so many shoots that will be coming, will be will be produced by this crop. Yes. Do we have a number of shoots that we are supposed to, to maintain or we are going to maintain everything that shoots at that given period? At this juncture, we really, we want to have the more the merrier. Because mm -hmm. that is the baseline of your, that's the base of your family. Okay. This is where your investment is. Yes. So if you have more branches, yes. definitely you'll have more returns. Every okay. branch is going to give you. That's why you find even banks. They don't operate one branch. Yes. They have several branches. They have several branches. For the supermarkets. Yes. You find the bigger supermarkets, they have several branches. Several branches. Very As true. an investor, you should also be looking at it as your apple. When you see a new shoot, you know it's a new branch you have opened. Yes. So yes. we want to have as many as possible. Okay. And then we can get the strong ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you will have the best as possible. Yes. They, they, are, they are not poisonous. It's, it's an investment. The more the branches, the better. Yes. Because now, we'll, depending on how many you have, we are going to increase your feeding. Okay. So that you are able to cater for them adequately. Uh, so now, okay, you brought another thing by just monitoring how the fruit is behaving. You are going to give it a, a more, or you are going to increase whatever you are feeding it. Yes. For you to be able to run the show, or for you to be able to run the company with ease. We treat every branch or every tree as an individual, because it has its own base. Okay. It has its own plate. Mm -hmm. So if the plant is not having so many branches, yes. you cannot give it the same amount of nutrients yes. that the other one requires. Okay. You have to give it a balanced. And if it has more kids, mm -hmm. definitely will get it. You will add more. So okay. that it is able to cater for the many children it has. So there is no uh, specified, uh, let's say, nutritional program that has a specific quantities of product to use per tree every tree is unique in its own way mm -hmm. that's why mm -hmm. we encourage farmers you associate with your particular tree these yes. are your mm -hmm. kids yes and you find kids if you have one which is growing very, who is growing very fast yes and uh, if the body mass is big mm -hmm. will not require the same amount of yes. food like the other one there, yeah, we really give true. it a balanced diet. Yes, yes. But if you find this one is not getting enough, mm -hmm. depending on the production of it, yeah. it's like a cow. Mm -hmm. If a mm -hmm. cow is giving 40 liters yes. as the output, yes. will you feed it the same the way the one which is giving you 5 liters? No, 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 no. no. It can't be the same. Yes. That's why we say we treat each and every plant as an individual. Okay. With its unique characteristics. Mm -hmm. That's where you find you plant on the same day. Yes. But you'll find some have grown big, mm -hmm. others are still short. Yes. But mm -hmm. the, the, we have the standard base, uh -huh. which we are calling the balanced diet. Okay. But depending on how it is, we are going to increase so that we are able to cater for the extra foods. Wow. Yes. This club sounds interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already in the club. Yes. Only that it's, it's, it's up here. It's, <laughs> it's up here mentally. You should translate it to the ground. Yes, then. I'm going to put it to the ground. I, I got told that I need to succeed. And the farmer is getting, the, 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 the investor also is getting the secret for them to succeed. Now we've done the vegetation. We have now branches. We are happy with the crop. Yeah. We want the flowers. What do we, it's nine to two, twenty or to twelve months. Yeah. What do we go about the flowers? Now at this stage, yeah. we have moved from the base, yeah. vegetative. Now we are where we refer to as it as the flowering and the fruiting stage. Flowering and fruiting stage. This is where now you are looking at your investment and seeing this is what I've invested. This is what I expect to get. Yes. This is where now we go for fertilizers which are high in potassium. Mm -hmm. We do potassium based 
fertilizers yes. that is for the basal yes. and also for the foliar applications potassium yes mm -hmm. because you find potassium in the soil yes. it is usually immobile mm -hmm. so you have to and you see this plant is giving you quite a number of flowers yes and fruits yes and it requires potassium in high amounts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we supplement it yes. we give it on the basin so yes. that it is able to get from the root zone yes. and supplement it with the foliars. Okay. Secondly, we also look at uh, things which can make now what we refer to as flower abortion. Mm. How what do we the causes of flower abortion? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We do uh, what we refer to as an elimination method. Yes. The watering must be on point. Watering is among the things that may reach yes. to flower bush. Yes. Uh -huh. If your plant is not getting enough water, yes. definitely the flowers will abort. You lose the flower. Yes. Uh -huh. Secondly, we also check out for the pest. Okay. The most notorious ones are the thrips. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We ensure that they are nowhere near your investment. Uh -huh. Second, thirdly, we also check out on the diseases. Yes. Which can affect the tree. Uh -huh. We have various fungal infections which affect the tree. Yes, and among the powdery, them the powdery, yes. Yes, down uh, mildew yes. and drachnos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We also ensure that they are not visible. Uh -huh. uh, thirdly, on, fourthly, we also check out on the, we have two elements now. We done with the macro. Yes. We also now check the micro elements or what you refer to simply as the trace elements. Yes. We check out how much we have. Mm. so that we can add we supplement that one which the, is that nutrient yes we have calcium mm -hmm. magnesium boron and zinc for the flowers yes uh -huh. that is at the flowering stage okay. we want to ensure that we convert as many flowers from flowers to fruits uh -huh. because our business is in there fruits ah it's very true once you see the flower is just an indicator yes but yes. the money you'll get it from there fruits uh -huh. and the end goal is the fruit true so that is why we have to guard it uh -huh. and jealously guard it <laughs> <laughs> i like that yeah no no we we've, we've gotten the, the we've achieved the fruit stage yes we've not lost any fruit yes then now which precaution or what are we supposed to do now to the to make sure the fruit grows well the fruit grows bigger it has good color and it's not default. We have properly fed our plants. Yes. The fruits are now formed. Mm -hmm. uh, we find one of the challenges that we encounter is uh, with the buds. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they also want to taste this sweetness. They, they don't want, want Fred to enjoy alone. They also want to enjoy the taste of the herbs. Yes, because the color is attracting them from far. Mm, mm, and you mm. see an attractive thing will attract a lot of mm -hmm. enemies sure. or predators for that matter. Yes. That is why you find the birds will be coming in their droves. Mm, mm, mm. We try to say if they don't have another parent who is catering for them. Very true. They eat from what we have produced. Yes, yes. But we also don't want them to eat into our pockets. Mm -hmm. So we minimize. As you can see the farm, like for this particular farm is big. Yes. It's not possible to do a shed net for the whole of it. Yeah, it is quite true. an investment. Yes. But we can do what we call the targeted ones. Mm -hmm. We use the nets, the nets yes. just to put them where the cluster of the fruits are yes the different clusters you can just put a small net mm -hmm. this will discourage the birds because mm -hmm. they'll come and look ah, it's not good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they tend to run away mm -hmm. we also scare them manually mm -hmm. we have one person who is dedicated to this work mm -hmm. his work is mm -hmm. to chase the birds yes so yes. If, i'm looking for one actually because the one which i had uh, which i've left Oh, so I'm looking for a the bad chaser. chaser. Yes. I think I did that job so that I can get capital to start my farm. Kindly, if you have someone, tell him to all, send All I CV. apply, I want to apply myself. <laughs> send your CV. We are going to review it. I'm, I'm, I'm a very, I know how to draw stones. 
I can shout. Oh yeah, and yeah. remember your voice, your yeah. vocal, your vocal yeah. have to be good enough. Have to be good enough. Yes. To to the far corner of the farm. Yes. And the farm is not is not small. Yes. Yeah, so if you are dealing with around 10, 20 acres, <laughs> ensure your vocals are good enough. Twenty acres is that is the qualification. Is a big number. Let me see. Maybe I will share the CV. Yes. Maybe in the interview you are going to test everything that you, that I've written in the CV. Kindly, but I must kindly. include in the CV that. I'm good at shooting. Yes. <laughs> the noise makers are required here. Yeah, I was a very good noise maker. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um away from the noise. Yes. Now let's let's let us let us you know somebody I saw a post on social media, somebody asking why don't we have a, a radio, a radio la television that people can view in the bank. Have you ever have you ever had a radio or a music inside the bank? Have you ever, ever had music inside the bank? Yeah, music. Unless somebody has, has his own. I've seen s- advertisement only. No, not yeah. the advertisement. Yeah. They, not the, the, the screen yeah. advertisement yeah. and the the ones they call the, they 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 call the tickets with. Oh. There is a music playing. The Mugivi playing inside yeah. the bank. Yeah. Have you ever had? I know. You never. You, you never. Because somebody yeah. told me. Yes. Money and noise. They don't go. They don't, they don't intermarry. <laughs> they will never marry. But yeah, I'm paying you to make noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, we'll talk about that. Eh? So business with the, the the fruit now is heading to maturity. Yes. And uh, remember the flowers started shook showing at 9 to 12 months. Now yes. from the, the day we show, the, the first flower shows, yes. to the day we pick and pack the fruit. Yes. How long does it take? That's usually a duration of three months. Okay. It's from the flower up to where you harvest. Yes. And this is the stage we are saying we have to ensure that the plant is well catered for mm-hmm. so that it is able to load big and juicy fruits. Big and juicy fruit. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Then how do you tell your fruit is mature? First you look at the appearance will be able to tell you. But the it appearance. It will have a like for this particular variety, mm-hmm. it will have a deep red color. Yes. And then it also becomes a bit soft. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. when you're looking at it, it's usually when it was growing, mm-hmm. at the different stages, the month one still green. Yes. Then it will continue turning color. Okay. And we are looking for that attractive color which you find it there. Yes. That is a red color. Mm-hmm. That is where you'll be able to see your fruit is ready. Okay. Yes. Then from the look of it, mm-hmm. you'll be able to see it has changed to that we call the market color. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Where you go to the shelves, you find that that fruit, uh-huh. that nice and beautiful color. We're not very good in color. That's why I call it is red. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. I was also looking around to see which is red, there, but I still can see one. So I will not be able to pinpoint the exact color, but it's that color. That color. Yes. Wow. Yes. This is a, one of the best conversation, the investors conversation I ever had. And uh, to the to the investors, to the my fellow investors, you've had it from our farmer, Farmer Lincoln, who is not only farming apples, also working with a big number of farmers because whatever he's doing cannot satisfy the market. Buyers keep on fighting for his local produced apples and he cannot satisfy that so i know you have the notes i know you have written everything down it is the time to take action and to subscribe to this billionaire's club if this is your first time you are watching us through this youtube channel don't forget to subscribe bye